first video tutorial on Photoshop. Right now, I will start at the basic, but along the way, I will I will teach you to step by step until to the complicated technicalities, editing technicalities of Photoshop. Okay, the tutorial starts now. Okay, let's start our Photoshop by opening the application. And then the first thing we do is we're gonna go to the file tab. We're gonna make a new file. And then we're gonna set the size. Now we're gonna we're gonna set the size 2x2 two two because we're gonna make a 2x2 two two pick. 2x2 two two, two two, two two ID picture ready for printing. I suggest that you set the color mode to CMYK to make it swap for printing. And then there it is, our blank canvas. And then we're gonna go to the move tool and to the marquee tool. In this tutorial, I, I will only show you how to use the marquee tool, the move tool. Only the three vital parts, the, the three vital tool we're gonna use for making a 2x2 two two picture. There's a marquee tool, and then we can use the pen tool. That's the only three tools I'm gonna show you to make it simple to you. Because I'm making tutorial uh, simple ways for beginners, a shortcut ways to make it easier. And also, the one of the basics of Photoshop and very important part of Photoshop is, are the layers. You gotta remember that. It's very important and as we go through to the as we go through the tutorials on Photoshop and getting to the difficult difficult parts layering is very important you gotta keep that in mind there you go the layer the purpose of the layer is that you can add another layer by just clicking in the bottom in the add bottom add layer button and the purpose of the layer is you can draw anything on the other layer by not disturbing the stuff on the on the layer below it. That's what make that's what makes it like a 3D effect. There, I'm drawing, I'm drawing this kind of random stuff. And I cannot disturb the other layer, the background layer below. I can just simply make it invisible by clicking the eye, the eye icon. And I can I can change the property of that layer. Maybe um, as we move forward uh, on my other video, I will I will walk you through how to handle layers, the properties of layers. But now I'm just showing you how to make a simple two by two pic, two by two picture or a one by one picture, a printable two by two and a one by one picture from a raw image by removing its background and setting its size. This picture is actually from the Pioneer of the House channel, my good old friend, Ferdy. Okay, we're gonna open the Photoshop application now. First thing to do is go to the file, file tab in the upper left of the application and then select new. And then we're gonna set the size. So we could, we'll, we'll be doing now a two by two picture. So it's always set. I prefer you set the color mode to CMYK because for for printing to make it swap swap for printing. And then we're gonna open the raw image. You can just you can just simply drag it to the application and then minimize it. Actually now I'm using an old version of Photoshop. I don't have the new version, but so I think for me, my opinion in Photoshop is okay to use the old the old version. It depends upon your creativity in how to use how to use it. And then back to the editing. Then you you use the marquee tool, the square one, the broken line square one, to mark up to mark up the image, the raw image. And you can and then you're gonna drag it to the already to the raw image and then. You're gonna set the size, you're gonna, 
Is it the size of the of the two by two or the two by two image? This is a blank image. You just need to size it, and then you're gonna just choose the marquee tool and point it, left click it to the raw image to drag it to the to the two by two image to, to the two by two image image background, and then you, and now we get here. And we select free transform and then we're gonna resize it resize it the raw image to match the 2x2 two two image background you can use a magic tool but pin tool is is way more swack for for removing the background and you can use the if you wanna if you wanna zoom in and zoom out you can use the zoom the zoom tool but you can just simply use the keyboard and just press control and plus and minus button to make it zoom in and zoom out okay and then we use the pin tool to remove the background there there's the pin tool in the tool tab and then you're gonna line through you're just gonna line through to the image carefully to make a clean cut there you go this line tool is very a vital part in removing background in editing stuff in and there we're gonna do this meticulously and zooming in the picture so we can line through the so we can follow the lines of the hair we're gonna do it meticulously to make the cut very clean there you go the ear it's like drawing this pin tool is used a lot in Victor anyway I will show you that in our future tutorials Before I'm not using pin tool, it's very difficult. I just I'm just using eraser, eraser tool, and it's not the right way. And then I'm gonna line through. I'm gonna connect the dots from the beginning, and then I'm gonna choose the make selection, and then you can just you can just simply click click the delete button button to remove the background by pressing the layer the layer of the image, the raw image, and then voila, the background is gone. I think this image is good to go for 2x2 two two, but you need if you want to if you want to make some adjustment or the brightness of the image you can simply go to the image to the tool to the image to the image tool image tab in the top part now you can adjust the brightness or the contrast you can just simply explore I guess for me in my advice just simply explore Photoshop if you have the application just simply explore. You can just simply explore. You can learn a lot. It's kind of basic in a way. And there you go. We're saving it from two by two. And we can and we can also change change the size of the image. And it's very important to save it to PSD so we can edit it in the future. Now we're resizing it to a one by one. There you go, we have a one by one. We can resize to any size that we want. I'm just showing you the basic, the two by two and the one by one picture. It's ready for printing and here you go. And that's it. My advice to the beginners is that just explore the tabs, the tools of Photoshop. There you go.
I think that would be the end of the tutorial for today. This is my first video collab on the house. Support us guys, like and subscribe our YouTube page. We have we also have our Facebook Facebook page. And soon we're gonna have a TikTok page. Support us guys. Just help one another. As the saying goes, hard work for rubber pays. This is me, Daryl. Adios.